In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful, with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations, so that we may be truly wise and even rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Day 18 The Immaculate Heart of Mary Mary's role is to bring us face to face with the love in the heart of Jesus crucified. But what if when we are there with him face to face, we don't feel moved? What if we stand before a crucifix, ponder the Lord's passion, and feel little or nothing? What if our hearts are hard and insensitive because of our sins? This happens. We all sin, and sin hardens hearts. Aridity and desolation also happen regardless of our sins. Whatever the reason, our hearts can be cold and unfeeling, and this can be a problem. Thankfully, the one who has a sinless, perfect, immaculate heart will help us. She'll give us her compassionate heart. She'll even let us live in her heart, if only we'll give her ours. During our week with St. Louis de Montfort, we learned that when we consecrate ourselves to Mary, we give our whole selves to her, and Mary then gives her whole self to us. The emphasis that week was on merits. If we give our merits to Mary, she gives her merits to us. This is a marvellous thing. Yet, Mother Teresa gives a bit of a different emphasis to all of this. Her concern is with the heart. In other words, her version of a total consecration to Mary focuses on a kind of exchange of hearts. We give Mary our hearts and she gives us her immaculate heart. For Mother Teresa, this gift of Mary's heart through consecration essentially means two things that are expressed by two simple prayers. Lend me your heart and keep me in your most pure heart. First, Lend me your heart. By this prayer, Mother Teresa asked Our Lady to give her the love of her heart. In other words, she says, Mary, help me to love with the perfect love of your immaculate heart. Remember, 
Mother Teresa's passionate desire was to saturate the thirst of Jesus for love, and she wanted to do this in the best way possible. What better way to love Jesus than with the perfect, humble, immaculate heart of his mother? Here, Mother Teresa found the secret to living out her vocation to the full. Mary, lend me your immaculate heart. But can Mary really give us a heart? Of course, there's something piously poetic in this idea. Yet, there is truth in it. When Mother Teresa often said to Mary, Lend me your heart, she meant it. Did she suppose that the physical organ of her heart would be removed from her body and that Mary would come down from heaven and give her hers? Of course not. The physical organ of the heart is itself but a symbol of a deeper spiritual reality. The heart refers to one's inner life and the seat of the indwelling Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Now we come to the heart of the heart of the matter. Recall our week with Saint Maximilian Kolbe and how he emphasized the bond between the Holy Spirit and Mary. He said that Mary is the spouse of the Holy Spirit and that their union goes even deeper than a spousal union. He went on to say things like this, The Holy Spirit does not act except through the Immaculata, his spouse. Hence, she is the mediatrix of all the graces of the Holy Spirit. So, if we want to love Jesus completely, ardently and perfectly, as did Mother Teresa, then we need His Spirit of love. And Mary Immaculate brings Him to us. Let us pray. Mary Lend us your heart. Bring us the Spirit. Pray that our hardened hearts would burn with love for Jesus. Help set our hearts on fire with love for Him. The second prayer is, Keep me in your most pure heart. Or, Stated more fully, one prays, Immaculate Heart of Mary, keep me in your most pure heart, so that I may please Jesus through you, in you, and with you. This part of Mother Teresa's consecration to Mary is the most profound. She's not just asking for Mary's heart to be in her, but for her to be in Mary's heart. So, this is a prayer to love Jesus through Mary, in Mary and with Mary. This is something more than simply having Mary lend us her heart. To understand and live it, requires a loving dependence and profound union with Mary. The day after tomorrow, we shall cover what this means and how we get there. Tomorrow, we shall learn more about Mary's attitude of heart. Today's Prayer Come Holy Spirit living in Mary. Keep me in her most pure and immaculate 
heart. Amen. Let us now pray the litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, Pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, 
be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen.